The legendary king of the jungle, Tarzan, is going to experience a significant change. Sony has taken over the responsibility of bringing the renowned character Tarzan back to the big screen following Warner Brothers' failed attempts to revitalize the Tarzan trademark. Tarzan, a fictional character originally written by Edgar Rice Burroughs, is the abandoned son of British aristocracy who was reared by a group of enormous apes in the African bush after becoming lost on the coast of Angola. Numerous films have been made based on his story, ranging from the silent Tarzan of the Apes from 1918 to the Disney animated version that debuted in 1999. With David Yates, who is best known for his work on the Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts series, directing The Legend of Tarzan, Warner Brothers made a major effort to revitalize the Tarzan franchise in 2016. Even with a cast that included actors like Samuel L. Jackson, Christoph Waltz, Alexander Skarsgård, and Margot Robbie, the movie was a critical and financial failure, losing an estimated $40 million. Proposals for a follow-up were promptly abandoned due to its lackluster reception. After acquiring the rights from the Burroughs estate, Sony is now in charge of reviving the Tarzan franchise with the goal of totally reimagining the character. Since the character's original story incorporates antiquated ideas about colonialism, racism, and gender, the studio faces a difficulty in making Tarzan relevant for today's audience, especially in the absence of screenwriters or directors. Because Tarzan was created in a different era, there are a lot of obstacles for current adaptations to overcome. Although The Legend of Tarzan made an effort to tackle some of these problems, it unintentionally contributed to the perpetuation of harmful stereotypes, most notably the story of the White Rescuer. It's unclear how Sony intends to modernize Tarzan for the world, but the creative team will have to tread cautiously around these political and cultural hotspots. It is hoped that they will address Tarzan with the delicacy needed to successfully usher him into the 21st century. Anticipating forward, Sony's reimagining of Tarzan may transform the character in a way that both addresses and appeals to contemporary viewers and allays previous complaints. The notion of a complete reinvention implies that Sony is eager to get rid of the unfavorable aspects of Tarzan's past. The image of a white man ruling a jungle full of native people and animals has long been criticized for its Eurocentric viewpoint. Tarzan has often been portrayed through a colonial lens. Contemporary renditions provide a chance to reconsider these concepts and provide a more complex picture. Focusing on Tarzan's bond with the environment and the difficulties of conservation could be one approach Sony takes. This aspect might offer a new take on the character in the modern world, where environmental issues are major concerns. Tarzan might be recast as a champion of endangered ecosystems, fighting against poaching and deforestation, rather than just as a jungle hero. By doing this, he would become an environmentalist and become more in line with current world issues rather than a colonial character. Looking into Tarzan's ancestry and honoring the source material while taking into account its historical background could be another fascinating strategy. The revamp might examine Tarzan's emotional struggle as he attempts to reconcile his dual identity as a member of British nobility and a guardian of the forest, rather than adhering to the conventional white savior storyline. This could lead to the development of a more nuanced and sympathetic character that struggles with issues of identity and belonging in a multicultural setting. The choice of actors for this reboot's cast is critical, and Tom Hardy is one who seems like he could be a good fit for the character of Tarzan. Hardy, who is well known for his physical presence and powerful performances in movies like Venom and Mad Max, Fury Road, might represent the raw strength and vulnerability required for a contemporary Tarzan. His participation would give the part more weight and make Tarzan's internal and exterior problems believable. Additionally, avoiding problems with tokenism and stereotyping can be achieved by selecting actors who are honest and have depth in their parts. A respectful and truthful portrayal could also be ensured by involving consultants and specialists on African cultures and indigenous viewpoints early in the creative process. The relaunch might also profit from cutting-edge narrative strategies that appeal to contemporary audiences. Sony could make a Tarzan movie that seems exciting and relevant by including modern issues, intriguing character arcs, and new visual techniques. 
By addressing earlier complaints and adopting a more progressive and inclusive approach, something that previous adaptations have struggled to achieve, this reboot has the potential to redefine Tarzan for a new age. The choice of actress to play Jane Porter in this new rendition is crucial to giving the character nuance and realism. At first, Jane was more than just a helpless girl, she was a complicated, intelligent, and strong character in her own right. An actress who embraces these traits and can provide a new, contemporary interpretation of Jane would be a great addition to the revival. Florence Pugh sticks out as a possible contender because of her adaptability and powerful performances in Little Women and Midsommar. Pugh would be able to give Jane Porter a more complex interpretation and become a more active and vital part of the narrative because to her ability to portray both strength and vulnerability. Zendaya is yet another fantastic option. Her remarkable versatility, on display in films such as Euphoria and Spider-Man, No Way Home, has proven that she possesses the depth and charisma required to play a variety of roles. Her involvement might offer a new interpretation of Jane Porter, highlighting her brilliance and independence and making her a perfect candidate for a contemporary translation. Emma Mackey is another interesting choice, she is well known for her part in sex education. Her portrayal in the episode demonstrates her talent for giving her characters nuance and realism. Her interpretation of Jane could draw attention to the character's flexibility and resiliency, showing her as a proactive and resourceful figure as opposed to merely a supporting one. Anya Taylor-Joy is the other formidable competitor. She has demonstrated her ability to take on difficult roles with intensity and grace with her remarkable performances in movies like The Queen's Gambit and The Witch. Jane Porter might have a new and fascinating energy thanks to Taylor Joy's distinct on-screen personality and capacity for expressing emotional depth, which would make her a standout character in the revival. It's crucial to take into account the actress's interactions with the new Tarzan and how Jane Porter will fit into the film's contemporary themes while choosing her for the role. While honoring the character's past, the appropriate casting decision might help reinvent Jane Porter for contemporary audiences. It will be interesting to watch who Sony finally choose to play Jane in this new Tarzan narrative adaptation as the production progresses. And that concludes the video for today. We appreciate your interest and hope to see you in the future one. Given the amount of discussions surrounding the upcoming Tarzan revival and possible casting decisions, who do you believe would be the best choice to play Jane Porter? Please leave your ideas and comments in the section below. Your suggestions assist us in creating new videos.